How would you like to optimize your Blender scenes and viewport performance while keeping your renders unaffected? This is thanks to the NView add-on. I've made many dramatic changes for NView in the past few months, including big optimizations and a user interface facelift. Let me go over my favorite features. Firstly, the NView panel has been dramatically simplified. All settings for the operations have been moved from the side panel to the redo panel which you can find after the clicking the button at the bottom left of the 3D view. If it's not there, you can go to the edit menu at the top and click redo last operation or press the default shortcut F9. Another big feature that I'm excited for you to use is transmission bounces. With the occlusion method, you can include objects visible behind transparent objects. The rays can check the material of the geometry it hits and determine if that material is potentially transparent based on its node tree. Note that this does slow down calculations for the occlusion method. Artists could choose between detecting objects from the active camera in a scene or their own chosen static camera. Now that chosen static camera has now turned into a camera list. This will be useful if you're rendering the same frames with multiple cameras. Included is a separate parameter to choose the operation to do on objects visible to each camera. Union and intersection. Union means that if an object or geometry is seen by any camera you select, it's considered visible. With intersection, an object or geometry is considered visible only if all cameras see it. I will quickly note that I added this clean panel along with a set of utility functions. All of the operators support undo, but this panel is useful if you just want a clean slate without undoing. The reveal buttons indiscriminately reveal all objects and collections in your scene, and there's a button to remove visibility keyframes from selected objects, such as the ones made by the Bake to Keyframes feature. I'll continue to develop features as needed and prioritize bug fixes, but in the meantime, if you have questions about InView or have any issues, you can message me through the Blender Market. And thank you for watching.